guys, sa huling episode, pinag-usapan natin how the Philippines has contributed to climate change. Although malit lang naman yan, nasa 0.37% lang ng total global contribution to carbon dioxide emission in 2016. So who are the biggest contributors to climate change? Numero uno, of course, it was China na nag-contribute up to a third of total global emissions standing at 29.16%. That's equivalent to 10.15 billion metric tons. Second was the entire Europe, which emitted 5.61 billion metric tons. And of course, hindi magpapahuli ang United States, which contributed up to 15.26%, which is equivalent to 5.31 billion metric tons of carbon dioxide. Now, you might think, parang lit lang naman yung contribution ng Pilipinas. So what's the fuzz all about? Well, we may not be one of the biggest contributors to climate change, but we are among the most vulnerable to its adverse impact. Parang ang unfair, no? To be precise, we are number three in the world in terms of vulnerability to climate change. When it comes to sensitivity to extreme weather conditions, Guys, we're number one in the world. Habang ang China, which is the biggest emitter in the world, is only at number eight. At the same time, US, the third largest emitter, is only at number 11. So ano ibig sabihin yan when it comes to extreme weather conditions such as floods and droughts and super typhoons? Our economy and our people ang pinakakawawa in the world. Keep in mind, with the increased heat in the ocean and the air, we'll have ever stronger and more frequent super typhoons. And with the rise of sea level, we'll experience more storm surges. Storm surges that reach as high as 15 to 20 feet. At ito pa, as an archipelagic nation, we are surrounded by bodies of water. A lot of our regions are next to ocean and seas. And if rising sea level entails numerous disasters, Guys, naalan nyo ba yung Typhoon Yolanda noong 2013? Storm surge that killed thousands of people and wrecked millions of lives. Unfortunately, that won't be the last we'll ever see thanks to climate change. So anong ginagawa natin para tumulong sa sitwasyon na yan? Our government agreed to reduce our carbon emission by 70% by 2030. But as citizens, of course, we should start supporting the usage of renewable energy and using energy wisely. Be active and involved in saying no to deforestation and expansion of coal power plants and other traditional sources of energy. As much as we have to change our lifestyles, the most important thing is dapat i-pressure natin yung mga governments to do the right thing when it comes to environmental policies. If we don't do anything, imagine the kind of world we will impart to our children. Kawawa naman sila.